the Public Policy Research Institute, Trivandrum, and the P. Sundaraya Memorial Trust organized a national seminar on the crisis of natural rubber sector. And uh, delegates from different rubber growing states, from Tripura in the northeast to Tamil Nadu and Kerala in the south, attended this seminar. More than 100 delegates took part. In the last more than a decade, the rubber farmers in our country have been facing an extreme crisis. To give an example, in 2011, if a rubber cultivator was getting 230 rupees per kg of rubber, today it is less than 120 rupees a kg. And this is directly a result of the faulty policies being implemented at the behest of the different uh, union governments, whether it be the Congress or the BJP, which have uh, gone ahead with the free trade agreements with the ASEAN countries, which are also rubber growing countries, and uh, cheap rubber is being dumped here. In a systematic way, the price is being uh, depressed, it is being reduced, um, and uh, the farmers are su suffering the burden of such a price crash, while big tire manufacturers who have formed a cartel among themselves are uh, getting this cheap rubber and also profiteering at the expense of both farmers as well as the consumers. Today, the Competition Commission of India has fined about 1,800 crores on um, these uh, tire, manuf um, tire manufacturers, um, MRF being one, Seat, Apollo Tires, and uh, Birla and so on, who have formed a cartel called the Atma. So, um, as an organization of the peasantry, the All India Kisan Sabha has demanded that this about 1800 crores should be uh, given back to the farmers for their uh, uh, helping them out. And the Chief Minister of Kerala also has reiterated this demand. It is to be noted that the huge losses that the farmers are suffering. A state like Kerala itself must have suffered in the last decade more than a lakh crore uh, loss because of the price fluctuation, the fall in prices that has been continuously witnessed in the rubber sector. It is in such a circumstance, uh, this uh, seminar has discussed issues related to all stakeholders, from the cultivators to the tapping uh, uh, workers to um, the uh, MSMEs as well as uh, the industry and plantation sector. All were involved for the first time, every section being brought together under one roof to discuss the uh, uh, crisis of the nat natural uh, rubber sector. Very uh, clear recommendations from different uh, um, people have different experts have come. The farmers have also intervened in each of these sessions in a big way. It calls uh, for the uh, alternative set of policies, implementation of alternative uh, set of policies, withdrawal from the free trade agreements as promised by Narendra Modi um, in Thailand um, a few years back that the ASEAN free trade agreement would also be re uh, reviewed. Um, but the government has been pursuing similar policies at, in a much uh, uh, faster pace. So against uh, that, the need for uniting all sections of the farmers is something which came up for discussion. Uh, exploring possibilities of collectivizing farmers for uh, setting up uh, industry, uh, agro-processing industry, rubber-based industry is also something that was discussed. To overcome the crisis faced by the rubber farmers, the All India Kisan Sabha is proposing an alternative. P. Krishna Prasad, the Finance Secretary of AIKS, speaks about the need to set up cooperative organizations in production, marketing and consumer sectors. But the AIKS is also well aware of the challenges in creating awareness among the farmers first. The, if you want to develop an agro-processing industry, uh, which is now under the corporate control because of which the farmers are not getting the real price, they are exploited. Then there is no other way than the petty producers come together and develop their own cooperative uh, producer uh, organization. 
so the producer cooperatives uh, will work in three level one thing is then the production uh, of the industrial processing second thing is the marketing yeah. and third thing is the consumer cooperatives yeah. so with these three sort of cooperatives consumer cooperatives market cooperatives and production cooperatives only we will be able to uh, uh, expand on the base of the cooperative production for this we should first make the farmers aware about the cooperative intervention and second we should come together and uh, uh, unitedly put the demands in front of the society and the government that the change from the corporatization of agriculture to cooperative agriculture this demand should be popularized and based on this the government and the mlas and mps all should be put under pressure to enact law in support of the cooperative agriculture and there the major thing is will be one thing is that whatever the surplus created that will be shared with the primary producer the worker as additional wage and the farmer as additional price second thing is that the entire system of the cooperatives whether it is production cooperative marketing cooperative or industry is a consumer cooperative this should be under the worker self management system so that workers themselves will control the cooperatives and they will ensure the interest of the workers and the peasants the farmers will be protected and this is the basic uh, foundation of a cooperative intervention in any society for this there should be a uh, campaign in favor of the cooperative uh, production system and how to link the agriculture with the in agro processing industry and market and the consumer uh, marketing system so this sort of a huge uh, effort or huge task in front of us is there that we have to undertake through uh, making the farmers and the workers uh, aware about the importance of the cooperative production in the struggle against the corporatization of the economy this is the basic of the uh, concept of the olympia kisan sabha and uh, there are a lot of experiments going on many places in the country where the cooperatives are become very successful so what we are saying is not the government cooperatives but the social cooperatives under the leadership of the uh, workers and farmers the government cooperatives are controlled by the bureaucracy and that will not serve the purpose of the social cooperatives which will cater the interest of the workers and the farmers and such a social cooperatives needs to be uh, built across the country in the sector wise and the crop wise and that uh, challenge we are going to undertake in the coming days in a more effective manner with the wide participation of the farmers and the working class